Hey, welcome to this ProModel solution. In Process Simulator, there's an option to set a percent availability for resources, but in ProModel, there isn't a feature that allows you to accomplish that same functionality as easily, but there is a way to do it, which is what we're going to show you how to do right now. In this example model, there is a resource called Machinist that I want to only be available a certain percentage of the time. The way we'll accomplish this is through a clock downtime. To start out, let's go to the resources table by clicking on our resources icon. As you can see, I have a resource machinist on a clock downtime. So let's take a look at the clock downtime table by double clicking within the downtime field and selecting clock. And now our clock downtime for the machinist table will pop up. The first thing to notice is the frequency, which I have set to one hour, so the machinist will stop working every hour for whatever time is defined here in our downtime logic. And then in this example, we want to have it not be scheduled, so we will be able to see how often the machinist was down, whereas if we were to select yes, the statistics in the output viewer would show that the machinist would be utilized 100% of the time. Now let's go into the downtime logic by double clicking in the logic field which will bring up our logic window. This formula right here is the formula we are going to use to set the percent availability for the machinist. And this M availability is a macro I have defined in the model. The value I give that macro will be the percentage that the resource will be available. So if I if that value is 100, then it'll be 100% available. If it's 50, it'll be 50% available. I'll show you how to change that value here in a minute. You can also use a regular value, a distribution value, or a variable in place of this macro. But a macro will allow you to run different scenarios based on your percent availability of your resource. In order to explain this formula, we'll just consider some hypothetical examples. Say our M availability macro had a value of 100. That would mean that the machinist would be available 100% of the time. So basically, we would wait 60 minutes right here minus 100, which is the value of our M availability, times by 60 over 100. Or in other words, if you calculate this out, it'd be wait 60 minus 60 or wait 0. So the downtime would be 0 meaning he was available 100% of the time. If this M availability value was 50, meaning 50%, the wait time would calculate out to 30 minutes. So the downtime would be 30 minutes. Now let's take a look at the macro table by clicking on this M icon. And here we have the M availability macro defined. And whatever value is in this text field is the percent availability. Right now I have it set at 20, so the machinist will be available 20% of the time. And like I said, the reason you would want to use a macro is so you could set it as a scenario parameter. So here under options, if you double click in that field and then select scenario parameter and define, and in this example I have a numeric range um, picked, and my range is from 0 to 100. So I can enter any value from 0 to 100 in the scenario manager. So I'll click OK. Like I said, we aren't going to run any scenarios, but just wanted to let you know how to do it if you wanted to. And one other thing, in this text field, you can also put a distribution as well um, to give your percent availability some variation. And then one more thing before we simulate this model. Let's click on this V to go to our variables table. And I have a variable called V availability defined and an icon displayed in my layout which is this these double zeros right here and I have this V availability equal to my macro value and I just did that so that we can put this counter here that will display during simulation and tell us what percent availability we are using so when we simulate um, this number should change to 20 since that's the value we have it set at now let's simulate the model by clicking play and that turned to 20 and we will view our simulation results 
to confirm that our machinist was really available for 20% of the time. If we look here at our resource states chart, the green is the percent in use and it confirms what was available 20% of the time and was down 80% of the time. And that's how you set a percent availability for a resource in ProModel. And that concludes this ProModel solution. Have a sweet day and happy modeling.